everybody. I am at Disney Springs. I am going to be trying first some of the flavors of Florida. This is going on until September 2nd at select restaurants around Disney Springs where they have some special offerings. Um, so we're gonna go to the hangar bar first. Let's go. So at Jock Lindsay's they have the Florida Rain which has the vodka, gin, rum, blue carousel. So that is why it is blue. You can see a little bit of purple at the bottom. It's a very pretty drink. Let's try it out. All right, first sip. I'm gonna try this out. Woo. That's good. It's almost a little florally, but that's real good. I like it. Good job, Jock Lindsay. So uh, I am recording this video today using the Osmo 3 Mobile. So I'm just testing it out and moving it all around. I have it locked on my face and I'm not touching it at all. This is pretty fun. <laughs> Trying it out. So don't mind me. The drink hasn't kicked in yet. I'm just weird. <laughs> Okay, so we went to Wine Bar George and they actually have an outdoor uh, window that you can just go up to and order this drink at. Um, and it is the Froscato, so frozen Moscato, uh, with Dole with pineapple, um, Moscato, vodka, and pineapple. So there it is. It is really hot out today, so I am looking forward to this frozen Dole Whip. creamsicle than anything. Like a pineapple creamsicle. This is really good. And it was around $15, which is like the price you would pay at Disney Parks for a drink. And you can taste the alcohol in it, so it's not like, not like one of those juice drinks that you get at the parks. I like this. Thumbs up from me. And since we're here, might as well go into World of Disney and see what's new inside there. Maybe some Halloween. So immediately walking in, I see some Halloween. And look at this Hocus Pocus skirt. I saw a Dooney and Burke purse inside that Happily Ever After store too, but I don't know if I'm, if I'm digging it. I do love Hocus Pocus, but I don't know if I like the artwork. And then we got this cute little ghost here says boo to you on the back and of course some rice krispies and some other toys here it's nothing that's jumping out and then over here we have the nightmare before Christmas look at this zero oh this is the zero on a leash that you can have tons of nightmare before Christmas so cute they have a Jack Skellington hoodie right here. And then they have all of the plush figures from Nightmare Before Christmas. Got some t-shirts. I love this. Lots of Jack and Sally. Found some accessories. We've got some Haunted Mansion and Nightmare Before Christmas necklaces. Look at these cute little earrings, like the bat stanchions, some Alex and Ani. I actually had a giveaway for this Cruella one not too long ago. But it looks a little different. Maybe they updated it or I just don't remember it. Then they have new ears with the Jack Skellington little top hat. Let's see what else they have. Some more Haunted Mansion stuff. I like this hat. It's pretty cute. Ooh, and this looks like it's super comfortable. Yes, it is. Very thin, lightweight shirt. And I'm loving these ears for the tightrope walker. I might have to get some eventually. Ooh, and they've got like a magnet set that you could put on your fridge so you could change out her outfits and things. There's so much going on. I can't even... It's like Disney heard all of our cries for Haunted Mansion stuff and they're like, okay guys, here is everything. Oh my God, you could put this in your lawn 
I live in an apartment, so this doesn't apply, but wow, I love this. And I got the salt and pepper shakers here, some mugs. And then some more of the Haunted Mansion wallpapers. This cute little shirt here. And you can get the uh, fanny pack, looks like, with any merchandise person for only 25. I think it's normally 45. Oh no, it's marked 25. Who knows? There's Madame Leota right there. And then these are some ears. Oh, with the little bat in front. So cute. These glow in the dark and they are limited release. They have the dog from the graveyard and the graveyard, the graveyard keeper, what are they called? I don't know. And then the bride right there. These are pretty adorable. Let's see how much they are. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, it could be a mystery or it could be on the bottom. Let's see. There it is, 60 bucks for three stuffed animals that glow in the dark. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Lots of Halloween shopping and candy corn popping. Does that run? I don't know. Whoa. Came into the Marketplace Co-op, found a few more things that weren't over at the Disney store. I love the holographic. I love that it's making a comeback. Tons of Nightmare Before Christmas and Haunted Mansion. Look at this pillow. So cute. With the cute design on the back and the little cast members. I love this. Found some new jack ears too. So these can be gender friendly because there's no bow. I love these. Here's one of those signs I guess that you can hang up in your, or put in your yard. And it looks like it lights up, I'm not sure. And a little cauldron mug. So cute. So we got checked in for Magical Dining at Haleo. Um, this is going on until the end of September. Um, they do it every year in Orlando. And I looked at the Disney Springs restaurants and saw Haleo, knew I had to go immediately. So this is the first weekend of Magical Dining and you get like a prefix menu right here. Um, normally it's three courses, but here it's five. Um, so I'm pretty excited to start off. Uh, now I have to choose my five options that I want to get, so let me do that real quick. My husband ordered a drink and he was so gracious to let me have the first sip. And it's like a margarita, but instead of having salt on the rim, this is the salt, the salt, this foam right here. So I'm going to try it. Very salty. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. I decided to go non-alcoholic and get a lemon soda from Spain. Very good. I like that a lot. I like lemon, so this is really good. <laughs> Almost like a lemonade, but sparkly. Some things have come out. So we got the chicken fritters right here. I want to eat those in one bite because there's filling inside. Almost feels like chicken pot pie tasting. And then we got the bruschetta brushed with tomato. That's good. Explosion of tomato. Pizza. Almost like a pizza. No cheese though. Good starters. Our waiter just told us that those chicken fritters take two full days to make and that the recipe hasn't been changed in over 50 years that Jose Andreas's grandma used to make them for him. So that's pretty crazy. Two days to make that. Wow. The next course just came out. I'm going to try one of these bacon wrapped dates. And there's that uh, apple mustard sauce that's on there. So I'm going to try it. I've never had a date before. So let's see. Almost like gummy? I don't know. Let me take another bite. 
it's kind of hard to explain what this tastes like, but it definitely tastes like kind of raisin. Interesting. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to try this one, which is peppers stuffed with goat cheese and mushroom um, with some red pepper sauce. So very good. I like that filling a lot. But not spicy. <laughs> so now we have our next course, which is uh, shrimp roasted in some garlic and oil. There was a pepper on top that was spicy, so hopefully <laughs> this isn't spicy. So I'm a baby with that stuff. Mmm. No, oh, that's really good. I would order this, like off the menu, just to have. This is really, really good. Highly recommend if you like seafood. Now, we're gonna try some Spanish sausage with like an aioli sauce. That's what it looks like. Mmm. Has like a roasted tinge. Pork sausage. Yum. So, main course just came out and it is the paella of the day with chicken and mushroom and a little bit of garlic aioli sauce. I love the consistency of paella. It's so good. It's very like comfort food. It's comfort food for sure. And the mushrooms that they use are huge. Like, I'm gonna show you this one right now <laughs> so you can see how big this mushroom is. That's mushroom. Now to try the chicken. skip the garlic aioli. It almost tastes a little bit like mayonnaise. It's supposed to complement it, but for me, I can kind of skip that. Really good by it. Saving the best part for last, this beautiful, delicious flan that has uh, some orange and some Catalan cream. I'm not sure what that is, but it almost looks like uh, eggnog, how they have like that little, those little specks. So I'm gonna try it now. That's really good. Super orangey, wow. This is delicious and I'm going to inhale it right now. And that was our first uh, of many in this series where I experienced a restaurant here at Disney Springs. Today was Haleo and I am so glad I started with it because it's one that I've been looking forward to visiting for quite some time ever since they opened. So to recap, we did the magical dining and got the prefix meal uh, that has uh, five different courses. So we choose a little bit from each category and we got to have some drinks as well. I really enjoyed that soda I got. It was very refreshing and not too sweet or too bubbly. I would definitely come back here. The wait staff was amazing. Our waiter Gabriel was really, really cool. And uh, yeah, everyone was just so friendly and it wasn't too busy for lunch. So I definitely recommend coming and checking it out, especially if you're here for the magical dining. Leave me a comment down below if you have been here before or if it's something that you would like to try, what uh, something that maybe I, you saw me have, uh, something that you would probably order and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for more Disney and travel and food content. See you next time.